Today we're in Dell's data center, Hopkinton, Massachusetts. We're looking at the new PowerProtect Data Domain DD9410, which offers a bunch of improvements over the older DD9400. You get the benefits of a newer updated chassis, faster flash, faster DRAM, faster storage, and overall improves your recovery time, your backup times, your replication times, and also lets you run more workloads in a instant recovery state. Now from the front, you see the uh, main controller and uh, storage shelf. Uh, in the controller itself, on the left-hand side, you have the OS disk. On the right-hand side over here, we have larger drives. These are for uh, onboard cache. Again, another RAID 6 on 3.4 terabyte SSDs. The storage shelf on this guy is made up of uh, 8 terabyte hard drives in totally of 175 terabytes usable capacity. Overall, really cool platform. We're going to start diving into the hardware to show you what the inside looks like. So we're on the business end of this uh, data domain DD9410. You can see the uh, redundant power supplies left and right. You have a dual port 100 gig card on the left hand side. In the middle you have uh, 10G base T connectivity. The right hand side you have a uh, quad port uh, 25 gig card. Looking at the uh, connectivity to the uh, SAS JBOD, we have twin SAS 12 connectivity to the JBOD. This gives you redundant connectivity to both controllers. So in the case of uh, one cabling failed, one cabling accidentally unplugged, you still have connectivity to all the uh, disks in the, in the 60 bay JBOD. So we've opened up the uh, storage shelf of the uh, new Dell PowerProtect Data Domain DD9410. Now this is a uh, 60 bay JBOD. It's made up of uh, four 15 drive uh, groups. Uh, each group has uh, eight terabyte uh, hard drives. So you get a total usable capacity of 175 terabytes. Now everything is uh, hot swap. These are uh, top loading drives. And what's kind of cool is the system is it, it can handle cooling to a certain extent during servicing. Now to remind you what you're doing before you open it up, there is a warning label on the top of this cover. So if you're opening up the uh, system, you have a maximum of uh, 12 minutes. If you're moving one hard drive, nine minutes of removal. If you're moving two hard drives, eight minutes of removal. So overall, pretty cool label. You don't see this on many systems. And it gives you an idea of what you can do before you go in and start messing around with things. So inside we see our uh, two cache batteries. This allows where if there's a power failure, everything that's sitting in flight gets flushed out to uh, persistent memory. And you can actually see there's little test buttons to verify are these in a uh, charged state. Now we're gonna go through and start taking apart different layers and describing what we're uh, looking at. So first we're gonna take out the uh, cooling fans, set those aside. Now to take off another layer, we're gonna pop up both of these um, we're going to pop up both BBUs. These guys we slide out and then clip to release. Same thing with the other side. Release it slightly, tilt it up, and then clip to uh, release. So in the center we have a controller card for the software-defined persistent memory. We're going to uh, remove that and clip out its power cable. It will allow us to uh, remove this uh, full uh, cooling shroud, set it aside. Inside we can see the uh, two processors, the RAM across the middle, and our uh, three risers on the uh, back. Now it's labeled one, three, and four. Uh, riser two is underneath riser three, just kind of set, uh, set underneath uh, below. When we were mentioned before the uh, uh, compression accelerator, that is a feature built into this current generation of uh, Intel processors, so you no longer need that additional compression engine uh, off to the side and it frees up the PCI slot. It's now on board to uh, the CPUs. So on the back, we're gonna remove the uh, three risers. To start off, we gotta loosen these guys a little bit. I'm in a lab setting, so I go for the big tools. And we're gonna just start these real quick and uh, then move to using our fingers. So and set these up really tight. Normally, uh, we just pop these things out finger tight, but you can tension them down significantly. So with those loosened, uh, we're going to start from moving uh, this riser. These we are going to be very careful removing. This first one has our quad port 25 gig card. The uh, middle riser, this one, we have our uh, additional uh, 10G base C connectivity. Uh, it gives you a lot of uh, RG40, uh, RG45 connections to attach into different network environments. This uh, riser 2 area, we're not going to remove it, but it has the uh, two uh, SAS cards for uh, connecting to the JBOD shelf. And then riser 1 on this model just has the... Uh, carefully remove those wires. 
Riser 1 houses a um, 100, uh, dual port 100 gig card on the uh, previous DD9400 and uh, DD9900 uh, you would have seen a uh, accelerator card uh, also leveraged in this newer generation of server uh, we have an open PCI slot now and this gives us um, future expansion without having to leverage that additional card since again it's on board with the uh, CPUs this time so overall this uh, Dell PowerProtect data domain DD9410 got a much needed refresh that gave it faster processors built-in support for its uh, compression engine so you no longer need the expansion card on the back uh, you have uh, DDR5 memory support now, more efficient power supplies, and overall it makes it a much more lean and mean and faster uh, backup machine. Uh, you have uh, faster front connections for its onboard flash, and it improves workload performance across the board, faster recovery times, and overall a lot of upgrades from this hardware refresh. We're excited to see a lot of these benefits hands-on, and it's always fun tearing into these systems.